Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Obamacare does double prices within the first two years. It's projected to quadruple many premiums within the next six. You're seeing that happen there. The numbers don't lie. The question is, how do they think they're going to get away with something this evil? As people learn what it really does. Uh, and a lot of people don't have the money to pay the fine, to pay the interest. And then you can't even really get the health care. And now it's making the price go up because you've got to buy it. What do you think is going to happen with a commodity you've got to buy? It's going to go up in price. And that's happening. It's real sad. And it's meant to bankrupt this country. Bankers run this country. Not your local banker. The kleptocratic bankers. So what do they want to do? They want to get you bankrupt. Let's go ahead and let Anthony finish his point from Pennsylvania. What was your other point, sir? Uh, yeah, I had my house broken into, and two guys broke into my house, and I had a gun. And I told them, I said, I have a gun. They started laughing at me. I started shooting at them. Good. And when the police came there, you know, who, who, who do you think they took the gun off of? And they, they took my gun away. Did you ever get your I'm, gun back? Yes, I will. I'll have to go down to court, and eventually I'll get my gun back. Yeah, the word is on that when states do that, it takes up to two years to get it back. When, when when you use the gun to defend yourself. What happened to the thugs? Too bad you missed, or what happened? They got out, but I fired off a duck small shot at them. Yeah, I hear you, man. I tell you, you boy, let me tell you, somebody comes around, comes to my house, they are going to be dead because they are a threat to my life. I'm going to shoot into the center of mass until I, I feel safe. And uh, that's the bottom line to deter these people. And that's happening in places like Detroit. And it's making the crime rate actually go down for the first time in five years because the police chief did the right thing and said, buy guns. The Interpol chief uh, uh, said, buy guns. That's what deters crime. But most of those countries in Europe, you can't even get guns. Unbelievable. Thank you, Anthony. William in North Carolina, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Great show today. Thank you, brother. I have the uh, ho hoax of the millennium, and that is the British-influenced twisting and destruction of our rule of law that caused the people to believe that our primary tool for managing this government that we have created is the vote. And that's not the only primary tool. Isn't it really have. the jury and the grand jury? It's the grand jury is the primary uh, 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 act by act management. In other words, uh, micromanagement of the government is done through the grand jury. No, that's right. A vote. That's how the citizens are in charge of the law, the judges, and, and have the ultimate veto. And now the grand juries have been turned into kept slaves of the prosecutors in the state. Here's how the, the rule of law tells us that this is all happening. Uh, Article 34 of the Magna Carta, where the due process comes from, which is the rule of law, says that no office of government can cause a free man, you and me, to lose our uh, choice over the use of our life, liberty, and property. I know. And that's what it says. And that what if it does, it can't be a law. Because it's not in pursuance of the Constitution. No, I mean, look, they have overthrown the Bill of Rights and Constitution. There's a renaissance happening, a rediscovery of it. And there are a lot of judges and a lot of prosecutors who aren't bad people as well. But there are a lot of pockets of really bad ones. And we, the people, have to literally, politically, go after the bad guys and stop bowing to them. I appreciate your call. Very good point. You know, I was out camping this weekend and saw signs up for mountain lions that had been in the area. And have been attacking people in the area, uh, menacing people in the area. Big Bend. 
and you know it said don't crouch don't run don't act scared you know yell and throw rocks well it's the same thing with government we act like a bunch of sheep the wolves are going to come stop acting like jellyfish that's what brings the evil Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. Take a hold of this bomb and break it if you have to. We are Carolina forces. They have done it too, sir. And we are defending and we agree. We are trying our best. People calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. There may be a false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans, and everybody in between, is that we all hated the bank bailout. 
the Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Dick Gregory uh, called in. He's in his car getting back to his house. So we're going to wait till he gets home on the landline. He's going to be joining us to give us his take on a host of issues and a new film he's got coming out as well. Um, but before we go back to your phone calls, I wanted to... This is mainly for TV viewers, but radio listeners can go to InfoWars.com and see these videos. These are the type of videos that are angering people. And, and, and this latest one, so the University of Arizona Wildcat fans are out. So they call out the riot police. And there's video of them shooting people with beanbag guns, all the rest of it. But behind the police line, a woman's walking along, clearly not even part of anything. And a cop runs over and hits her full power with the belly club, knocking her back. And I've seen this footage Rob Deuce shot of Pittsburgh after the G20 was over. Women on bikes at the university, that was like a police riot because they hadn't got to attack anybody. They'd banned protests citywide. Well, that was over. They go into the, uh, the university and are chasing people down on bikes and knocking them off. And just, just absolute police mob psychology rioting. And we see these footage of like people in New York on bicycles getting knocked off and getting brain damaged and just... They have a word for it. I can't say it on air. It's chicken and then, and then a S word after it. But it's this random predatory deal of like where a dog, a bad dog will like randomly bite a kid or something. Like whoever they think is the weakest. I see these footage where it'll just be like a person in a wheelchair and a cop will walk over and just hit him with a billy club across the face or f throw him out of a wheelchair when they're quadriplegic. And I just, I just like, and then they don't get in trouble is the issue. So here's the footage uh, out of... Uh, out of Tucson, the article's up on InfoWars.com. Uh, it's from the Daily Caller. Tyranny in Tucson, cop in riot gear, brutally attacks innocent girl. And then there's the uh, video uh, of it happening. And again, there's a police line. She's on a smartphone. Boom! That's how you kill somebody right there. Show that again. She's on a smartphone, white iPhone. Clearly just a sweet young lady. And then full power, boom, belly club, under the neck, knocking her back over into the concrete. And that's how you get a good kill ratio. In fact, if I wanted to kill somebody, that's how I'd do it, with a, with, with a club. I would find an unsuspecting person and hit them up under the chin to have them, have them hit as hard as they could. In the head. I guarantee you, if, they, if that woman died, she did go to the hospital with serious concussion. If she died, they'd have the police chief on air saying it was authorized and a good, and then, hell, give the cop a, a purple heart. Execute that woman's whole family. What they do in North Korea. Now, we're going to show you the footage uh, out of New York with what they do to bicyclists. Uh, and this person was put in a coma. Uh, and by the way, this cop did finally get in trouble after a bunch of lawsuits. But uh, here is that footage. <laughs> So you got a bicyclist and the cop knocks him off by the head, full power from about six feet off the ground into the concrete. And uh, well, let's just say that person doesn't talk anymore. <laughs> Good. 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 Do what must be done. Show no mercy. And then slow mo, boom. That's how you kill somebody. Like that kid outside Austin and Bastrop. Two girls are slapping each other. He separates them. Clean cut, nice kid. Turns around. Cops come over. He says, sure. They taser him. Falls over. He doesn't talk anymore. I've had his lawyer in here. They kept him in the nurse's office for hours, hoping he'd just, uh, you know, deep six it. <laughs> the blood coming out of his ears right away. But he still lived. That's kind of a tragedy, huh? So now they're getting sued. They don't care. They'll just use taxpayer money to pay it. So there's this new warrior attitude where somebody stand there doing nothing. Well, you 
knock them over full power. Oh, but don't worry, the FBI is looking into taser shooting at Bastrop High School. I don't know, maybe the FBI will do some good. My, my whole issue is, is that it's just, it's just truly disgusting. At Dick Gregory coming up, Andrew in Australia. Oh.